Hello and welcome to this, this video tutorial brought to you by video around the Coda CC. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look of how we can create this leopard uh, skin text. As you can see here, we, we got a big R and it has leopard skin. As you can see, and that's what we're going to create today. Hope you enjoy it and have a seat and watch the video. We can start by clicking on File, New, Control, and Command, and on a Mac. And we can have this uh, new window pops up and it can tell us to enter the name. Uh, be sure to name it main and the width and the height is, uh, 8 to whatever size you want to put it on and make sure everything stays to default pixels and then RGB color weight and 8 bit. And the, uh, the size, width, and height it's up to you. It depends how big the text is going to be. Now let's go ahead and uh, the first time you launch it, it will be on the move tech on move tool and then now uh, we can go ahead and change it to the text tool and the shortcut is T hitting on the T, T on your keyboard that will bring up that will select the T the text tool of here which is T and just go ahead and click in the middle of uh, the white background and type something in this case I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to type in R and for the font be sure to make uh, a font that is a little thinner for example, you don't want to have a font that, that is uh, like this, uh, that is a little bigger, flat. You want to have a font that, that is like this. You can't. The effect won't work good on this kind of text, and the effect won't work good on this kind of text. It won't work good. Better text you want to have is a, a medium text that it it has mm, like this, but a little easier for you to see and use alright and I'm just gonna take that last one that one I'm just gonna use this one alright and you wanna change the size let's go ahead and hit on T2 and go ahead and hit here select and on the double T's go ahead and tick it if you see those two arrows pointing right and left go ahead and take it to right click, uh, hold on on your key on, on your mouse sorry and just go ahead and scroll all the way to the light and tell you how the size you want it to be. Let me in this case I'm going to put it, take it a little bigger to about 825 and that is big I know and hit on, on, on the keyboard key I mean on the keyboard shortcut V or you can just go ahead and click it to select this move tool and now we can go ahead and click on the brush tool and we can go ahead and click on window and brushes if you have it open already it should be looking like this or maybe you should you should have you should be having it somewhere like this and it's hiding like this go ahead and look for brushes and that should pop up and now we're gonna use what kind of brush are we going to use well let's go ahead first thing you need to go ahead and just change it to somewhere like um, kind of Let's see. We see a brush. Let's go all the way down. Make be sure to do what I'm doing. You have to reset the brush, and yeah. After you reset the brush, go ahead and scroll down like that. Scroll down and hit on the one that says number one hundred and twelve. Be sure to leave the default as it is, except. On the angle, you must uh, must type in this minus 130. That that is what we want. And shape dynamic, scattering. That's why you need to select all of these, but leave it as default, as it is. And we need to click on this one and this one. And be sure to leave it like how it is. And the size. So take it down until um, you have a nice small brush that can look good as a tiger skin as the my leopard okay that's good about 31 is good and be sure to change the color to darken to darker gray no darker no, brown since it's kind of brown little darker change the brown and this is the the code 4b22f 
zero F. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and create a new layer, and you should give it a name if you want to. But in this case, I won't. And I'm gonna go ahead and just paint over here. You don't need to click one by one like that. No, you don't need to do that. All you gotta do is just scroll down like that by holding on your mouse and tell in just control uh, control Z if it's looking bad. Anyways, you can do a better job than this because I'm doing it bad. My mouse is kind of moving, drove me crazy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit so I get a better view. And I'm just gonna go back to the brush tool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just you know go ahead and hold on my mouse and scroll down until I get I, until I get many spin until I get, any, get many of them off here. But that looks okay, that looks fine. That looks good they look bigger. And let's go back to brush teeth. And now let's go ahead and flip it the other way. Now, as you can see, this if you flip it this way, it looks different than this way. So, as you can see, you can go ahead and a little better. And I'm just gonna zoom out now, uh, not so far. Let's zoom until you can see it. And that looks perfect, that's good. But we forgot one place over here on the top, we can still do it. Click on the brush again and that looks okay like that okay that's good alright now let's go ahead and get started I got this texture in my bridge over here and if you wanna s if you, you, you can just go ahead and search for leopard any kind of skin like these on google and just go ahead and search I just got on google uh, just double click on it and you open up in Photoshop. I'm just gonna wait for it. Yeah, that's perfect. You just opened in Photoshop. I can go ahead and just select the whole thing. No, select the whole thing. Anyways, I just use the rectangle marquee tool. Edit, copy. Once you select it with the rectangle marquee tool, and Go back to the original rail that we are, you're working on. Click on Edit, Paste, or you can just go ahead and Control V, Command V, as you all know. Shortcut for copying and pasting. Mm -hmm. Now Control T, Command T to resize your image. Tell it fit inside the whole text and hit enter or click on this check button and that should that looks good. Now let's go ahead and put it under the original text under it here as you can see shows us everything and what you can do is go ahead and control and select the top one layer one and after that you need to go ahead and select this one as it selected the original image the texture and just go ahead and hold on shift control I and then after delete and all you need is to take to turn off these top two layers turn it off turn it off and control D and here is your beautiful nice leopard text effect you can even delete the other layer, the other layers and just keep this one the original one and now let's go ahead and take a look of how we can make it uh, make it like this a little bigger well uh, that is that is just easy control J control J it's copying and duplicating it Control J, J J J. Control J, J J J J J. Beautiful. Until you got nice R, and you can just go ahead and do it for each text. I don't know, man. This is a very good text effect, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna 
work in it, work on it, or if you wanna put the and then if you wanna put all of these layers together, shift, click on the last one, control E and control G if you wanna play in a group. Yeah, and that's how you do it. That's how it's done. And as you can see it's looking beautiful, yeah. You can just go ahead and make another one and put an R of here, put an S of here, put an H of here. Ah man, I'm gonna do that. Uh, by taking my time just go take your time and do it while I'm doing it and taking my time I'm just gonna say thank you for watching this video tutorial and please subscribe comment and be sure to comment something about this video peace out take care